A couple days ago, we put out a video on Switch 2's release month. Now, this was obviously a rumor. Nintendo hasn't announced anything. And this revisited some stuff from February, including this post by Midori that we missed. Midori being as reliable of an insider as Pioro. We have covered her in the past. And I missed this response that she put out to a tweet about the March delay or the delay to 2025 or switch to or said it is information that was sudden to publishers and it's a unique situation. And I do not have information on hardware announcement plans, Nintendo titles or hardware information. March, 2025 is a firm date. That was the thing I emphasized on was the firm date. You can see this is clearly our video from the other day. Now that is really cool. And I am happy about that whole firm date thing. And I wanted to follow up that video because I have a feeling, and, and, and maybe this is just me getting crazy talk, but I have a reason for it, and I'm gonna provide some evidence that Nintendo is about to unveil the Nintendo Switch 2, at least in terms of it actually coming out, or confirmation that it's going to be coming out, even if it's not a full reveal. And when is this going to happen? On May 7th at the investors meeting. Now you might go, well, Nate, why would you think that? Well, if you go back to April 27th of 2016, Nintendo put out a tweet and mentioned in their investors meeting that day, because that was the same day as the investors meeting, that their next generation platform was going to release in March of 2017, and they did hashtag NX. Now, they gave us that announcement in April. That's when they did their financial meeting for the kickstart of the new fiscal year. And the, this time around, they're doing it a couple weeks later on May 7th. So May 7th is now when they're going to be doing the kickstart for the new fiscal year. So that all kind of lines up there. Then you have to look at the fact that what are the rumors about this platform saying, right? It was supposed to be a holiday 2024 release and then was delayed to 2025 and March at the earliest, according to Nikkei. Nikkei said at the earliest, which made people think, oh man, it's not going to happen in March. All right. So we have that information. Now, how does that line up with Switch? Well, thanks to the Giga Leak, we now know that Switch was internally planned to come out in holiday 2016, but didn't actually come out until March of 2017, meaning that that is evidence that Nintendo Switch itself was internally delayed. And there were rumors about that back then. And all the Giga Leak did, which Nintendo did send people to jail for, was confirm that that actually happened, that it was holiday 2016 and then became March of 2017. So we know these internal delays happen. We have direct evidence. Again, those are still rumors because nothing's been officially announced. But look, if you look at Nintendo's pattern and their history, clearly this is something that happens. It's not out of the ordinary. And so it would venture to say that a lot of the reports probably hold some merit, especially since they're coming from people with dev kits who do get communications from Nintendo. Now, setting all of that aside, the imminent reveal to me isn't something that you should be expecting it to be like an October 2016 event reveal where here's the system and here's some games and here's what it can do. That I think is going to happen later this summer, if not early fall. But what I do think could happen at this event is similar to 2016 where they just acknowledge the next generation platform's existence and state that it will be releasing or is planned to release by the end of the current fiscal year. They might throw out a month. They could say March, 2025. I'm just suspecting by the end of the current fiscal year to be a statement. And they kind of leave it at that. They probably won't answer a lot of questions about it. They're going to wait for the actual reveal date, like the unveiling of the actual system later. We're not going to see it at this event, but that's what I think is going to happen. And that already is massive because while Nintendo has confirmed they're working on a system it's been on the fringes back in 2021 nintendo at a financial meeting by the way noted that nintendo accounts would be forward compatible with their next system releasing in 20xx they actually reiterated that in the last financial briefing as well although there was a couple year gap between those mentions and they have said at the last few financial meetings when asked about Switch 2 that we have nothing to say on any future platform at this time other than we're always working on new hardware. So Nintendo has acknowledged that they're working on new hardware. They've acknowledged that their account system is going to be compatible with this new hardware. So those are sort of the fringe mentions, but there hasn't been a mention of directly like, hey, we are actually planning to do something with this hardware. We are actually wanting you to be aware that it's coming. And that is something that I think could happen on May 7th. That's why I said imminent reveal, because that's literally in the next two and a half weeks. That's not that far away. So that to me is pretty awesome. But again, if it doesn't happen, I guess not again, 
what I want to actually throw out there is what happens if it doesn't happen. Now, all this, shout out to Andres Restart who did a similar video on this. Uh, Andres Restart noted that if it doesn't happen, he thinks that that means it's not going to release in the next fiscal year. And I will note, there's other caveats to pay attention to beyond just if they mention it. Uh, if you look at their prediction on revenue for the next year, if it looks decently high and yet they're projecting low sales of Switch software and Switch uh, hardware, then you have to presume that there must be something happening. So I think you have to look, you have to dig a little deeper into the numbers, basically. But uh, I would note that if the numbers don't look great and on top they don't say anything, then chances are the system probably is now not planned to come out in the next fiscal year uh, or the current fiscal year, which ends in March of 2025. So that's also something that you could argue we get confirmation on. Now, that being said, we do have another story we want to get into that is tangentially related to Switch 2, and that's because of a leak for Sonic Frontiers 2. Now, again, I call it a leak. It's more of a rumor, but Midori, again, very reliable Atlas. Sega Insider is involved. Now, first, let's get over to the original stuff here. So we have Daniel RPK saying Sonic Frontiers 2 is in development. You might go like, who the hell is Daniel RPK? Well, if we look at the tweet here, it says Sonic News in the link. He actually put it on a, uh, what is this, a patreon right uh saying hey sonic news in the link and you might be going man so he's charging money for the news that kind of sucks and yeah i do hate when people put paywalls behind stuff especially uh patreon level paywalls but thankfully we do have an actual screenshot of the patreon that i'm loading up right now and you can see here this comes from this guy say it's unusual and there's the screenshot that says sonic frontiers 2 is in development now if that's all we had i would probably leave this alone because it's very hard for me to verify this person's track record but what isn't hard to verify is midori who is literally a pioro level leaker and she chimed in on this as well as being an atlas slash sega leaker and she said in here talking about this article you know Sonic Frontiers 2 is reportedly happening uh, via Daniel RPK. It's in development. This person uh, tagged Midori and said, hey, can you confirm that this is true? And Midori said, this is correct information. The person freaked out, wanted to know more information. And Midori said, the title is a sequel to Frontiers in gameplay style, but the name might change. Frontiers was Rangers until it was announced. So noting that Sonic Frontiers wasn't always called Sonic Frontiers behind the scenes. It was Rangers at one point, became Frontiers by the time they announced it. Uh, and I find all of that to be... In my opinion, extremely fascinating. This game is likely going to end up on Switch 2. The first game was on Switch. This game is probably not coming out in 2025, 2026, right? We're just hearing about it being in development, not releasing, uh, not being close to finish. So it's it's probably going to be a year or two away, maybe longer. By then, I think it's safe to say Switch 2 will be out. Like Even for people who go, well, they said 10 years of Switch, and they keep holding out of the quote, forgetting that they actually said 7 to 10 years then not just 10 years but even if you want to hold on to the extreme quote well in 2026 we will have hit 10 years so i think it's safe to say that at that point if that's when this game comes out that you should expect it to be on nintendo's next platform of course i suspect this system will be uh, like announced revealed released before 2026 but then again look i thought it was going to happen this year and it's not so at least uh, i shouldn't say it's not Nintendo hasn't said anything. They could actually come out on May 7th, by the way, and just say, hey, the system's planning to release by the end of this year. We're planning to release this holiday. But Nintendo hasn't really said anything, so I guess plans could revert back. But I don't know. Some of this uh, was put out there that potentially there, there's a thought process out there that because they're waiting for the Japanese yen to rebound, that is what's causing Nintendo to delay the system. There's a lot of theory crafting out there around uh, the Switch 2 until Nintendo actually just gives us information. And I think May 7th, is the first time that I expect Nintendo to actually do something versus rumors. Because there's not really a rumor about May 7th, right? There's not Nate the Hate out there saying, oh, you know, May 7th, they will do say something. Or there, 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 there's not all these insiders saying May 7th, May 7th, May 7th. This is just looking at Nintendo's history and thinking logically about how they've approached this with prior systems that we should have a, some sort of expectation of if it is in the next fiscal year, Nintendo mentioning it there. If it's not, then Nintendo not mentioning it there. So take that for what you will. Uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, Nintendo can Nintendo, and they can do whatever they want, and they're a very hard-to-predict company, uh, but they can be a really fun company to predict. So put this down as a prediction, but I'm predicting that Nintendo is going to mention their next-generation platform at this meeting 
Uh, and if not, I will actually be a little bit surprised. Just a little bit, because Nintendo does what they want to do. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. I hope you're enjoying these Nintendo Switch 2 videos. We obviously have much more to come. Don't be following my account if you don't like Switch 2, because that's what we cover a lot. Uh, stay tuned, as always, for all the latest on Switch 2. We'll also talk about any other major Nintendo stuff going on. Uh, kind of crazy to me that there's no Direct either, by the way, just to throw some extra little curveballs out there. We've had no general Direct this year, which also kind of lines up with, hey, maybe they're saving everything to announce the new system. <sighs> Time will tell, right? Time will tell. Catch you guys in the next video.